Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Logitech G27 with Farming Sim 2017, the uh, new Farming Sim that's only been out a couple of days. I'm going to be showing you how to set up your G27. First of all, I'd like to apologise. If you can see on the screen, this is all a little bit funny on the recording. I do apologise, but I will read everything out to you. It's just a software I use to capture my, um, you know, my Windows is a little bit playing up at the moment, but the whole video won't be like this, I promise. So first of all what you want to do is jump over to your Logitech profiler and just this box here will appear. Then what you want to do is go into options, global device settings and you'll be brought up with this. So what you want to do is first of all is make sure where it says report combined in pedals make sure that is ticked. If you can't see it I do really apologise. Um, my software is really playing up but I want to get this video out. So reported combined pedals, make sure that it's definitely ticked, otherwise you're going to have big problems. So what I have so far, that you can all adjust these, but what I'm going to show you, I have overall effect strength is um, 75%, 75, 75, so all these three are all 75%. Then what you want is to make sure you've got ticked, enable uh, center and spring enforce feedback games, and I've got that just set as 28%, but I'm going to turn it up a little bit, I'm going to put it on to 40%. So here you can have it as 900 degrees, but I've noticed with 900 degrees on the Farmer Sim game, it doesn't actually respond as well as it should. So um, if I was you, put it down to 630, that is where it actually starts responding as soon as you start turning it. With 900, it takes a quite a bit of a turn until it starts responding. Then again, I always have allow games uh, to adjust settings. I have that ticked as well. So after you've done that, you just want to press OK and then head over to your game. So guys, once you're on your Farming Sim 17 game, what you want to do is head over to the options, what's just here, and you'll see here on your gamepad, this is your G27, it, will under, it comes under the gamepad, you have loads of different commands, as you can see on mine, I've already deleted them, so that's what you need to do first, you need to just delete all them, and then uh, you can carry on to the next step. So once you've deleted all them, You'll see here it says active object, literally just put any single key, it doesn't matter what, just make sure that's got a key in, because the game goes a little bit weird if you don't have it in, well, I've noticed it and a few other people have noticed it as well, but um, yeah, just put any key, it doesn't matter what it is. Let's get down to the important stuff, what is going to be, here it is, the brake and acceleration, okay, so before I take this any further, this game's a little bit backwards. <laughs> so everything's a bit opposite so believe it or not what you want to do is click on the brake and press your accelerator yes your accelerator on the G27 like so it's not me pulling your leg or it's not me being stupid or anything like that it actually this works then normally it should set your uh, uh, accelerator as well but if not you want to click on your accelerator and push your brake it's not me being weird I promise that's what I mean, the game's a little bit backwards. So what you want to do is go on to your steering. So when it says steer right, you want to click that and steer all the way to the left and all the way to the right. And what you want to do is where it says axis 1, then the brackets with minus. You want that on the right and then the plus on the left. At first, I'd done it a little bit wrong and when I was steering right, it was going left. So yeah, it was a <laughs> as you can imagine, it was quite amusing, but it got a bit annoying after a while so make sure that is definitely the right way because otherwise you're going to be having a bit of a fun time so all these other commands so as you can see I've got some commands here these are all literally just different ones that you can set your buttons to I'm still going through them I've literally not long had the game I'm still going through setting commands like different buttons on my G27 the lot so these are all optional, all you've literally got to do is click it, then select the button on your G27, whatever one you want, and that will allow you to uh, add that com uh, like command sort of thing to it. So, I'm going to jump over to the game bit, and I'll prove to you that the steering and that all works. It is really, really simple. Um, I'll jump over to the game, and I'll prove to you that it all works. We're in the game now, and as you can see... Uh, obviously I'm in a tractor, so what I'm going to do is put my foot down on the accelerator, it will pull forward, press the brake, it stops, keep your foot down back on the brake, it will reverse, let's steer to the right, goes right, 
steer to the left, it will go left. As simple as that guys, it is really really simple setting up the G27 on farming sim, I think it was harder on the last farming sim, um, I had quite a lot of views, I think it had like nearly six, uh, t between 15 and 20 thousand views and a lot of comments, I know it got a few um, thumbs down but that's literally just my own fault for not replying to comments in time. But that's because I didn't have the correct system set up, and it, well, I weren't getting emails through saying that I got comments. So I didn't. I lost out on them quite a bit there. But guys, if this video did help you, please ensure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have got any questions or you need any help, leave it down in the comments. I will check it daily, and I will, re will reply to all of your comments. So guys, like I said, please ensure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.